All right, guys, we're jumping into another set 11 TFT. We just had a crazy fortune game, Fortune 7, and it didn't pop off. My three star NAR kind of crapped the bed, which makes me believe that the patch has probably already went through. We'll see. They're doing a hotfix patch, and I think it already went through. I do believe. Um. We shall see, guys. I'm gonna wait till I see a NAR, and then we'll be able to determine. Poor Timo. Next, yeah, my three star NAR just felt super underwhelming. I was like, hmm. And like, no one else in the lobby was playing it, which I thought was also very weird. It was like a ghost town on NAR, so I'm like, hmm. Maybe it switched. Wahahaha. Hmm, <laughs> porcelain. That's a scary start. He gets porcelain, I get you up my bow. <laughs> yeah, sure you bad. Okay, so it should be a good game. Yeah, I got Fortune 7 last game. I think it's 130 cash out. And then you got clipped by guy and I had two star Kaisa, which also felt like she wasn't doing any damage. She had really good items. Three star Teemo. Three star Nar. I had two because I got two champion um tacticians crowns. I had two units on the guy's fighting and he still managed to beat me and I was like my position was good I was like what like how did I lose to this team comp so I think I think the B being the patch notes already went through which is okay uh, they need to come out for sure I'm looking at the uh, the if you guys don't know so the traits is the fortune stage three luck bait uh, luck for loss got dropped from three to two uh, two card uh, cost champions NAR. His passive AD went from 4% to 2.5. And his max stacks went from 25 to 40. Right? Teemo's ability damage got a scale down for the 1 and 2 cost. Or 1 and 2 star, sorry. Case okay, so got completely nerfed. Her wave damage, unless she's 3 star now, is completely, completely nerfed in the ground. And the amplified wave damage got nerfed as well. Orn got nerfed, Aurelia got a little buff, and Zaya got nerfed. So it looks like they completely pushed these comps into the ground. We'll be able to tell right now. 380. Yep, the B patch is live. That's why I got destroyed last game. Okay, now I can make a different team comp now. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Yeah, I can tell us by looking at Timo that he's at 380 now when he's, he used to be at 420 for his one star. So, yeah, B live is B patch is live, guys. This is like one o'clock in the morning where I'm at. Just doing a quick game for bed. Lost the fear of hail. Run it back. Try that again. Hmm. So that being said, we're gonna get away from Dryads because they're pretty much dead in the water right now. Yeah, and Nard is still like decent. Like they lowered his 80 stacking by 1.5%, but his passive max stacks goes up by 15. So it's kind of like a nerf and it kicked the teeth all at the same time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually play Umbral because I, I think they're in a good spot still. I know one of the viewers came to my channel he's like, dude, they are not in a good spot. Like, statistically, and I was like, I totally know. Like, I agree with you. But, I'm still gonna play it. I herald the greatest yeah, why did I do that? Get the past. It only clouds the future. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna build around this. I actually played this on my phone too, and I did like really well. Um, 
I played one obviously earlier, like I think yesterday, and I did like a Kais 3 and an Alun 3. Or sorry, yeah, Silas 3 and Alun 3. And like we did really good. We turned the game around, and then I was playing one on my phone. Like I saw a couple of the people play Umbral and like kind of went out today, and I'm like, hmm, it's kind of strange. Like no one's buying these units because everyone kind of thinks Umbral sucks. And like as a standalone trick, they do kind of suck. But I played one on my phone too, and I like I think I got like a second or a third. I didn't have most of my units three start. I think they're just in a really healthy spot to uh Try to, keep up. to climb with. Only because the execute damage, like okay, so Loon got a nerf or a, a buff that like not too many people are playing. And it's actually pretty devastating when she's three starred. Like she can clean lobbies. You just need a really healthy front line. So I think Umbral Six is still playable. Like people aren't playing Yone. It's not like he's garbage. Like he's still a good unit. And if anything, like we build for the Umbral now because it's a strong early game comp, and then we pivot to late game, right? But early game, like for the third stage, I think we're gonna do very well. We just stay on track. Hmm. We need a belt here and we need we need a belt. We need two belts and an AP is what we need. Two belts and an AP. I'd be happy. So that's my that's my focus right here. It's all about the loon. There's one. Almost called it. Oh, okay, I guess. You guys each get one. One for you. One for me. I'll give this to you as well. Come on. Shouldn't be rolling at all, but... Shouldn't be rolling at all, but... I feel like this is pretty healthy. We have a decent starting to comp. To coast in the third stage with. We're just kind of broke, but that's okay. This guy's got 50 gold already. What the frick? I mean, take advantage of it now, right? Just since we lose less uh, HP in you know, combat. The greater loss, the less HP you're losing, so it's pretty good. I'm just going to keep trying to streak, though. I, I like the idea of streaking this entire third stage. That's where I want to be. It's portable forge, know your enemy, gargantuan resolve. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Umbral crest. Rain gold. I kind of have to take this. I feel like I have to. Umbral Annie for the win. Let's go. <laughs> Crit Annie. Coming in for the kill. I mean, I'm okay with this, guys. Honestly, I'm going to play Umbral again. We're going to try to run it back. It's just the start of the B patch. I think people are starting to get a feel for it. I'm so happy, too, because earlier today, man, if you were... The team comps I was playing were so crazy. Like, I was getting, like, 10, 10 team comps. I was still getting, like, fifth. And, like, my team was strong. But it's because I wasn't playing Kaisa reroll and I wasn't playing Nar reroll. And there's at least like three people pushing Nar and at least two or three people pushing Kaisa in every lobby. So there'd be like people with like one Kaisa and still doing good, you know? It was a very weird day today. Oh, like as far as the patch went, I'm like, this is like ugly. It's not even enjoyable to play. And if you weren't playing those two team comps, like you were not going top four. Here goes our streak. Yeah, as I ball in that Gargantuan Resolve, then I'm like, man, I'd have to be really committed to just playing, like, Yon, which I don't want to play. Straight across the board, you know? Let's go with this. Probably shouldn't have spent that gold there, whatever. 
Whatever. We lost a lot of HP there. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's nuts. So we need to get Silas out. That's our next focus. And then we gotta save money. Or I will be forever seven. Okay, so keeping with tradition, we're gonna try to get this saloon to a three star status. I don't think I'm contested really by anyone, which is nice. Feels good. To the moon would be a good augment to get here for this people like exactly this unit. To the moon would have been great there. Fly me to the moon. I want that Annie. Nobody saw nothing, you hear me? Don't get Annie, we'll try to get this Yone. He's got a bow though, so it's kinda like up in the air. And he's gone. How long was I like, able to move for? Who's this? Slurred Love? Did you grab the Annie? I think you did, didn't you? Yeah, you did. No, Annie's over here. Neg's well. You're playing Fortune. Makes sense. Can't hate that. You're playing Fortune. Our wills align. Um, I think we just chill till uh, we're up there, Wolves. Yeah, the, the B patch looks really healthy, guys. I actually approve of all those nerfs. It's going to be kind of nice where people are playing like an assortment of comps again. Like going in there and just seeing like the same, like two or three variations of each comp played by every unit. Like it was like not reroll, but instead of playing this unit, I'm playing this unit. Like it was just like, it was weird, man. Like I, I really love this set. I think this set's a lot of fun. I think they're gonna have an extremely hard time balancing it properly. And like now playing this one longer, it really made me appreciate set 10. <laughs> like <laughs> set 10 towards the end of it, like although it was getting like a little old and stale, like, it was very well balanced, I think. Like, because this was like the encounters and all the, the elements they tried to introduce and like little finicky things, I think there's a lot more for them to look at when they're balancing it, because like like we've seen it like one freaking augment can completely like revamp an entire team you know it's just like it's my two cents i'm just kind of where i'm my brain's going right now um so we took to the moon right all right we took umbral crest let's see how bad this performs umbral crest is a 4.58 it's hilarious you have my bow you have my bow is a 4.25, so that, you have my bow's not terrible. I have a feeling Duelist is going to be still on top. I remember earlier today I got ran down by a Duelist 3 comp, or a Duelist 6 comp. It was crazy. Volley 3 was still, he had double titans and bloodthirster and he still just ran through teams. It was savage. That's so weird to see no one playing Nar right now. It's not that he's bad. Like, you can see here, 2.5. So, this, I can tell it's the buff, the nerf, because it used to be 4%. But it's stacking up to 40 times. So, he's just slower to ramp up, is all. But he's still, I think it's he's more powerful. He's just slower, you know? Which is what made him good, is the fact that you had 4% and 25 stacks. So, he's just like blind. Need some more loons in here. We need some more loons up in here. Dun 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 dun. We really need more rellos on you, like really badly. And then we're happy. I think this team comp's healthy other than that. We're gonna wait for our augment. We'll watch the next encounter. I'm not gonna push for anything here. 
I'm only on a three spree. Are you concerned about it? Sorry, bro. I'm not leveling. If there's ever a time to have a you have my belt augment, it'd be now. <laughs> ah, I don't mind that. That's good for position. That's good for positioning. Okay. So late game. Yeah, it's going to be a late game. Probably going to go to bed after this one, but we'll post this video in the morning while I do my morning grind. Little buddies. This could be so much fun. It's kind of a gamble. Little buddies are already playing that. You have my sword now. Crash testing is good, but no. Wrath of the Moon. That's what we're kind of hoping for. Yeah. I'm gonna skip on the dynamic duo, because that's kind of a huge gamble. But you have for now. Yeah, maybe. This Annie's hurting. Alright, guys. It's our team comp. Read it and weep. I'm telling you, man, this, this team comp doesn't perform well because not a lot of people are playing it. But I think there's, I think there's a space for this team comp to do well, especially considering it's so uncontested. Like it's really like nobody plays this. There's so many like ways you can manipulate the umbral board too that I'm just not doing because I'm tired and lazy. But I'd be playing like Azir instead of Annie. You can get like Orn in here instead of Shen. That's fun. This little pick me up. You're so close. Okay, this carousel, all we care about is a belt. Unless there's a set. I'd pick up a set. Hmm. Silas. Hello, hello. Come on, guys. This is where we need to burn. But here's the thing I like about the Umbral, right? It's like, so... Keep our eye open here. Probably not getting that belt. Belt's gone. She's gone. Yeah, they're yelling. Probably sell these Dariuses. And so, so here's the thing, guys. She got a really like substantial buff, like it's actually pretty decent. Not only that, but like Umbral got the 20% health execute. So it used to be 18. So the four buff that you see now, the four buff of the 18%, used to be the six piece. And yeah, it's only two percent, but like that two percent when it comes down to somebody like a loon who's doing like widespread damage can actually be pretty devastating. That's why you build her up as a three cost. She does like massive damage when she gets these stacks up to like 120 and she lays down her alt, like she'll hit that 20 percentile. 
Like even right now, she's just blowing people up. Uh, if we are a cast off there, we would probably would have killed everyone but Kaisa. Kaisa we wouldn't have killed. We just need more power. Yeah, I'll probably be playing the crap of Umbral for the next couple days, guys. Try to do a, a hidden climb. Just fly under the radar. For easy laid back top fours. And this trait, like all their units by themselves kind of suck, but there's things that make them strong. Like if you can get like um Midnight Siphon or Grave Siphon, I think it's Midnight Siphon for York into this comp. You can get Shen with the Ethereal Blades. If you want to play Shen as your other behemoth. Like there's well, obviously to the moon, this Wrath of the Moon or whatever it's called. Wrath of the Moon, yeah. That's amazing for this team comp. Like, it has its place. It's just not played right now because there's usually better things. But I find that you get a lot of benefit from playing something that's never contested, right? Jeez. Calm down, guys. It's crazy he's playing two people who just got, like, nerfed. Substantially. I mean, Teemo's three-star bonus is still the same. And Kaisa's three-star bonus is still the same. So if you can three-star both of them, man, you're golden. Are you serious right now? Kidding me? You kidding me? Alright. Well, we want belts. That's all I know. Come on, belt. Survey says, show me potato salad. Gosh, dang it. Um, grab that. We're gonna try to reforge this. Hate this game. Um, just gonna have to give you crit then. Too late. It's too busy squirreling out my brains elsewhere. That's all right. Come on. Come on, Loon, do your thing. Oh, he did. Done, you guys. She slept on. You guys don't believe me. She's such a powerful unit right now. I see, uh, you know, I saw this too because I, I saw like a. Uh, there's someone else that was like online that was talking about like how next patch they figured that a Loon would be slept on. And I've been seeing more and more people cutting her into like other comps as like a second invoker. And she's still strong in that that state, but so here's what we're doing: 1,655 magic damage split between all enemies. She's gonna prioritize the people with the most HP, right? So the beautiful thing about her is like, so say there's like three tanks up there, and they're sharing like 6k HP between them. Once those tanks start to die, if there's a whole back row that has like more health than this like tank you're still working on, she'll delete the back line. And that usually happens after she gets a couple stacks on her arc staff. So like right now we're working away at the front. Once the front no longer has the highest HP pool, we'll be working our way to the back. Like we just did right there. Like obviously this is a lucky game. It's not going to be like this every game. We just got really good augments, but... Believe me when I tell you, it's not to be slept on. Probably try to get you. I just got nerfed though. I honestly just kind of prefer Shen. Because if I can get a cane in here. Yeah, we're going to try to... See if we can save up and get a cane. The units I want to three star, we three star other than you. You're kind of whatever. 
Bum, 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 bum. See, Morales also gives her more attack speed. So you can get her cast on quicker. There it goes. Here comes the pain. So the thing that like I like about this too is like you get like Yon who's not a crappy unit, like he's not garbage now. He just doesn't play as well as he did before. But you get him running through the back line cleaving, and then when you when um Balloon follows up with her alt and just blew, like just deletes everybody, it is extremely satisfying, guys. I live for that kind of stuff. Oh, we're gonna need a crown guard on Mr. Yor. That should be tasty. You know what? I should put that on Annie. Makes way more sense of Crown Garden Annie. There's our Reaper. Coming for you. Hold on to you for later. If we make it to level 9, we should. So I get past Elder. This is our team comp, guys. It's pretty chill. It's obviously later at night, so there's not as many, like hardcore players on right now depends there's actually there's like some hours at night if i'm on like really late like the lobby gets like extremely crazy <laughs> like they're like really good players but it's probably because they're not in the same time zone as me boom front line just took a massive hit here we go back line back line oh front line's done Deleted. Yeah, so the way I like to play my build for a loon where she's like really popping off is you want the um Morales 100 percent I usually go arc staff is like a must. It's like Morales arc staff plus one is what I'd suggest. Obviously build however you guys want to build. You guys don't have to play this comp, but I'm telling you it's gonna have some a little bit of hidden potential. I think this for the next like probably for like 14 point B until more people kind of pick up on it. I think this will be like a pretty easy top four. If you play for like late game too, like right now I'm, I'm kind of like capped. I love late. The thing is like this is an expensive board to really get online too. So that's why a lot of people don't play it. Like there's better boards. They cost cheaper is a really good way of putting it. But this, this is all just about playing a loon. In all of her glory with her 20% execute. That's all we're doing here. We just eliminated three people in a row, didn't we? <laughs> Backs hurting from carrying all this over here, guys. Hmm? Yeah, and he's popping off. She's popping off. She's coming out with some crit too, which is nice. Getting a little bit of boom boom. When she turns into the bear. I just put it in perspective, look at how much damage we did out of Dragon in one hit with her. That's without her stacks. Insanity. <sighs> Probably just you. Oops. Oh, my front line stay. Oh, I have a little bit longer. Ah, oh, Yoshi, I've seen you in a lot of lobbies. Sit back a little bit. So that's early access to the back line. One more shot here. Oh, we almost got it. That was close. We have to clean that up a little bit. We need to get rid of this, uh, this Lissandra and bring in something better for us. Honestly, a set dunking into the back line would be perfect. <laughs> Full dunk. Here 
Great Heavenly Sage doesn't really help us, no. No, it does not. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Nope, don't want you there. That's a terrible idea. Have Uder just run down and start pounding her. <laughs> no, thank you. Ah. Our furling's getting weak now. See, like I said, it's a top four comp. Definitely not a uh, first place comp. So let's see how everything's restarted. That'll do, pig. That'll do. X morted. Did he get his swap in time? Now oh, he should be good. That's why I need Morales, because Morales puts a burn on anyone too. And that's what we care about. Come on, Lynn. It's your time to shine. <laughs> She's so broken. Uh, too funny. We're not beating the slurred Dave, no Surrey Bob. Yeah, she Bob. We no longer have what's her name. We'll play you. We'll slide you out for you. Put you there. Try that out, just I'm curious. Give this to... You, I guess. <gasps> Wouldn't wish my fate on no longer curious. Oh, Shen. Ah, we forgot to move our unit. Awkward. Not enough. Oh, come on. Come on, one more. Deleted. Broken champion. 25k damage, man. Guys. Our second best damage was 2k. She did... Pretty much... 10 times more damage than the rest of his team comp combined. Just a boat. I'm busted. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Brutal. Should probably put that Shen back out front. <sighs> Did they pull their Odier? Wait, what? Oh, well, he's trying to roll and get three stars. Why'd you do it, Slurred Dave? I believed. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. We get Yo on three, then we're definitely set. 
Slur just trying to hit the three stars, eh? Yeah, he's trying. We need to find one and buy it before he can. We find one, we just screwed over his entire team comp. Three star? No. Craziness. Ah, oh, he just gave it to me. He did his unit. Alright guys, like to subscribe for more content like this. That was an easy breezy, beautiful covered girl game there. <laughs> Go Sona. See you on the next one. Peace.